Hey friends and welcome to the daily message for Sunday, February 6th. You'll notice that I have all of the cards already on the table. Uh, that's because I started this reading and then I finished this reading and somewhere in the middle I ran out of memory space in my camera. Rookie mistake, honestly. But uh, the message, I think, was important enough to not scrap this all together. And we're going to stick with what's here. I'm just going to go through it again for you so that you can get the message for today. Um, thanks for being here. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So, uh, by the way, I'm using a brand new deck today. Um, and they, they, it complements my dream oracle deck, the Vitor Somnurum. So I'm going to give you a little quick screen grab moment. Check that out, the Gothmancy deck and the Viator Somnium. So the Gothmancy is a Rider Waite inspired and the Viator is a Dream Oracle. Dream Oracle. So, we started the reading with, with pulling three Dream Oracle cards, right? Here's what we got. Don't be afraid. Conflict, healing, and synchronicity and so uh, today or whenever you're getting this message wherever there's a sense of conflict in your life the message is to um, soften a bit and realize that backing down sometimes is the best thing you can do when nobody wins and so how can you turn any um, resistance or conflict into an opportunity for healing right anger is such a useful emotion frustration is a, such a useful emotion because it tells us where we can grow and synchronicity then here at the end is that awesome reminder that in any at any time we can get quiet and tap into the language of the universe and it will uh, remind you it will in its own way affirm that you're on the right track I believe it does this through the body somehow our own intuitive sense but I also believe that for everybody it's different so um, take it how it resonates this was a bunch of clarifications, we're going to get into those, but for now I'll just read you what we have on the table. Uh, the chariot in the underneath position as the general overall energy. Then we have um, in the recent past the Hierophant, Temperance, Justice. Did you notice already something like that these are all major arcana cards? Uh, in the present, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. Whoosh. And in the near future here, the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, and the Five of Pentacles. And then I was sort of called to pull one more card at the very end of this, and it's the World card. You are going to get to see this amazing deck, because the artwork is... I just love how much color is on the table right now. So... The chariot, right? The breakthrough. The, chi the, the flavor of the breakthrough that the chariot is bringing is through its own will. It's not, uh, it's not the way of the sword, but the way of the stream. And it, in any way, it's not about winning. It's simply about being guided into the next phase um, of your life. The next phase of healing or ending a chapter of healing. So if you're still dealing with this, right, and it resonates for you, there's a couple of ways that it can manifest. I feel like there could be a situation where um, you've tried a lot of different solutions. Your patience is wearing thin, possibly, about around something. And so it might feel like a, you know, one last chance to sort of either fix or, or have a breakthrough with something. It might have to do with a belief that you have, um, I'll say around love, 
um, the love, it doesn't have to be romantic either, just sort of that frequency of like how we understand love, what your signature, what your love signature is, like what you carry around with you that you um, radiate or like give off to other people. We walk around, I think, expecting our signature to be out there somewhere, like a matching signature that creates like a perfect, yay, you know, union or friendship or, or whatever, understanding. Um, and, we, and we expect that. We expect for exactly the thing that we wish for to appear before us that alone can also lead to different kinds of conflicts or resistance because maybe what we need to realize is that that potential for love that that feeling is already within us and so yeah we're we're being yep yeah. I've got a speaker in the other room I don't know if you can hear but it's just sort of like singing every once in a while and I've just sort of let it go what was I saying? Just, um, I think that's why conflict and healing are showing up. It's saying if there's conflict, it means you yourself need to figure out why there's conflict. As in, what are you bringing to that table that isn't resolved? Not externally. I'm not telling you to tell me about the problem that exists in the 3D I'm talking about what is the problem that exists within you that isn't resolved, that is causing external conflict. That is making it so that when you show up to a situation or to a relationship, it's not playing out the way you think it should. Because the energy I see of, of you is wanting to break through that finally something coming to justice balance tradition you know tradition is sort of like by the book like wanting to clean the slate and I do get the sense that this is something that's been holding on for a very very long time so maybe it's like childhood trauma or it's um, just something that happened to you when you were young or something like that and it has to do with love love potential um, maybe there's somebody who enters your life um, very quickly here to show you or to remind you of that lesson maybe that's the synchronicity is it almost feels like why does this thing show up right at this time to tell me this right when I'm thinking about that and it's maybe it's like a missing piece to like you're finally getting to that. Okay, I know I got to heal this. Let me focus on this. Still recording. Ooh. Okay, sticky. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so that's. Yeah, that's you. Okay, so. Yeah, so um, this, this thing that comes in quickly, it could either be, you know, like a work situation or somebody through a friend group or something like that. A colleague or a colleague or an acquaintance shows up, reminds you of this thing, this feeling that we... Reminds you of your signature, <laughs> your signature move. Uh, what's that meme? It's just like, what to do when love shows up, like, don't turn around and run or something. Those Zodiac memes on the internet, by the way, they make me really angry because they just change. The, the meme will stay the same and they'll just change the Zodiac sign and every Zodiac does all of the same things according to these memes. I'm just saying, so. Anyway, so when this person shows up or when the situation occurs, 
you're for a moment going to think that this is the real deal and you're going to want to go for it. And I think that you'll, you, that you might be disappointed because look, what are you doing? You're, you're walking around with your signature being like, is this yours? Can you forge this? Let's just keep the metaphor going. Okay. Can you forge this signature? Forge. I just went sort of deaf in this year a little bit. It's weird. That's the point though. They're forging the signature. Your the signature is unique no matter what. Once you realize your own potential for and I say love because Ace of Cups is here and it's like it's just staring me in the goddamn face. And anyway, I'm reminding you that I don't mean romantic love. It could be. What are how are you showing up? Love is love is love is love. It it shows up the same. The signature is the same in all of our relationships. Okay, like different, there's different levels of, of intimacy at play here that might be different for everybody that's listening. And so that's why we're disappointed because instead of acknowledging our own um, capacity for this, that is a stable and steady presence of who it is that you are, you're like looking for it in other people, like what's inside of you, in, other, in somebody else or an external situation. I digress. Um, and that's why the world showed up because like the minute you realize this, you're never going to go back and you're going to, I think you're going to be a totally changed person from w once you understand what I'm saying. And I think you do understand. So because there were a lot of major arcana cards on the table, this is a big deal. This was an important message that I feel like I needed to get out there. And I went ahead and pulled clarifications for the zodiac signs. So I'm going to go in a backwards order since I have a stack here of the zodiac signs. So um, we're going to start then with Libra. Libra was clarified by the Six of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords. Libra for me, was definitely, oh, let me show you these amazing artwork, the goth man saying it. Libra of, of them all was feeling most like this sort of childhood trauma or um, um, something that happened to you when you were young, maybe that has been a secret, um, has been keeping, has been holding you back. But the message of the Eight of Swords, you got to remember, is that you yourself can set yourself free. You can set yourself free. Libra. And another message of the Six of Cups is to nurture and honestly sanctify your um, joy, your, your, your playfulness, your, the, the wonderment, right? Not just nostalgia for the past, but... Mm, all the things that made life special, right? That we put away when we grew up and, and, and um, burdened ourselves with responsibilities. Um, and the High Priestess, she's the card of wisdom and secrets and, and higher knowing. So maybe you have some innate abilities that have been uh, not diminished, but just sort of like locked away that are becoming unearthed now. I don't know. Uh, who's backwards then? I think that was Aries. Aries was a fun one because there's a lot of fire here. Also, we have the devil, which is um, Capricorn, right? The two of swords and the four of wands. I feel like Aries, you might be, you might be, your healing has to do with thinking about or recognizing whether or not a romantic partner that you have is somebody who's going to provide you stability and a foundation for 
something you want to create in life or if they are um, flingy. That's a message for Aries. And you're like stuck. You're like, I don't know. what. Did I show these to you yet? I will. By the way, I'm going to like keep using the, uh, the spreads as the backgrounds because I think that's really cool. But then when we get into the reading itself, when the video starts, I'll get rid of the title so that you can see the spread. I know a lot of people like to read their own cards. And if you appreciate art the way that I do, then uh, you'll also want to see them. Because this is like real, real special. Okay, so yeah, Aries, flingy or real? Knowing what we know about the reading as a whole, I feel like it says a lot about you, about what you're bringing to the table, um, to whether or not you see the potential of this in somebody else. What are you using that relationship for? And I don't mean negative using, it's just like, why are you in this relationship? What are you getting at? What do you want? It sounds like you have to decide what you want. It's not, what, is this person this or that? What's their signature? It's what's yours. Okay, who do we have next? Oh, is um, Sag? Ah, yes. Okay, right. The message of Sag was, uh, a friend told me this about um, what kind of problem solver are you? The Roomba problem solver? Sag is being a, pro is it being a Roomba problem solver because they're like bumping into the problem. It's like a pattern they have and they bump into it and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got a course correct. Bump into it course correct and then they just sort of like keep moving around is sorry I didn't even say the cards the three of wands death and the wheel of fortune I feel like once you realize that you really do have to change um, some approach very significant like you yourself are always changing and I think once you realize that you're, you're it's almost like your decisions your outlook needs to reflect how you are also changing and once you come into some sort of alignment with that and you stop falling back on maybe old patterns or, or um, you know, karmic things, karmic things, patterns, also karmic patterns, or just like preconceptions or ingrained, or sorry, conditioned um, responses, that's when you see, I think, growth and you, and you can begin that healing begin the healing continue the healing it's never finished just wherever you are in that process wherever you feel like you are in that process then that's the correct answer and the thing that is coming out of my mouth so I try to make these general these are general readings and I'm not trying to prove any level of prediction or anything this is just really fun so um, who else we got the hierophant and then the chariot so it's Taurus and then cancer and then that'll be that Taurus got the two of cups the queen of wands and the ten of pentacles and if the Adams family's on this one so um, yeah um, Taurus more Taurus, more than any of the other zodiac signs, for me feels like taking something to the next level um, in, in a relationship. So like either you're starting a f wanting to start a family, Taurus is thinking a lot about family, offering some very personal aspect of themselves to another person or to a relationship or to a situation I feel like Taurus is definitely on that healing path but maybe a little bit further along than um, in in this narrative and I don't even I'm not even going to compare it to any of the other signs because it'll be different for anybody but just that the, the energy of Taurus is sort of in that synchronicity here is showing up
but the work for Taurus then to, it becomes to show up authentically as yourself, somebody who understands themselves in your power, right? Knowing your power, knowing, you know, how special you are, honestly. Knowing what makes you special and saying, here's what I have to offer. Yeah, Taurus is about sharing something, sharing some, some value or wealth with, with another person because you realize your worth and you're wanting to share it. Taurus. Um, and then Cancer. So Cancer showed up as the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. I feel like... I feel like Cancer... Um, this might be your own method of healing. This, this kind of assertion. Um, what it's saying, what it's saying to me is that you're, um, planning on communicating what has been bothering you. This is all about sort of like speaking what's on your mind, letting things come to light. It might happen very quickly. Like you might blurt it out. Um, and I think for cancer, it's about following an impulse that's your maybe your flavor of synchronicity is an impulse you can't deny for example as much as you try to plan things they always have to happen um, almost naturally and I see conflict here because maybe that is in conflict with sort of how you feel um, in your inner world or it's in conflict with how we think of um, healing to be like a steady process, but it's not. It can also happen very suddenly. Take all that how it resonates. Um, reading with the Gothmancy deck today was definitely super fun. Um, I definitely felt like I was in a different, and I am like in a different just mood in general with these cards. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let me know if any parts of this resonate for you. Um, let me know what you think. I hope you like the videos. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.